Hey guys, it's Mr. McDaniel. And uh, last time we talked, we talked about the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex. Your amygdala being here on the side and your prefrontal cortex being here in the front. Um, and now we're going to talk a little bit about a different part of our brain. Our amygdala helped us with uh, thinking about our emotions and how we control our emotions and how we're feeling like happy or sad or nervous. And then our prefrontal cortex helped us think about the decisions that we make and helped us to think about math and English and, and uh, things that we have to do when we get home. Uh, but these neurons, this is the new part that we're gonna learn today. And these neurons are little tiny pieces of our brain um, and that we use when we're learning new things. Every time you learn something new, a new pathway is created. So let's say we learn to ride our bike. We get a new pathway between these two neurons that helped us to learn to ride our bike. And then you learn something else new. Say you learn to tie your shoes you get a new pathway between these two neurons that indicate that we were able to learn to tie our shoes. And when we do that, when we're creating these new pathways, it's called neuroplasticity. It's a big word, but neuroplasticity is the word we use when we're talking about how our brain can grow and get and, and, and get and learn new things and, and how we can create all these new pathways and create a lot of new ways for us to get around the way we think. And it's pretty exciting to think that we can continue to learn, that we can keep learning new things and that our brain is gonna keep growing and helping us to learn all these new things. And I hope that every day you come to school, you're ready to learn and you're ready to create these new pathways. I hope we can all do that together.